to drink. What's up, Internet? It's me, Mr. Ponzi. We're back with some more Lego. <laughs> oh, yeah. Hope everyone's well. Hi, hi, hi. Good afternoon, good morning, good evening, wherever you are. Thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. Hope you're all well. So today we're continuing the work on the inn. Now, I need to clear a few things up first before we proceed on with the rest of this build. First of all, first of all, the bar has now been moved. Um, it was about here so what I've done is I've moved it this way four studs um, rebuilt it so it hugs the wall rather than just being freestanding um, there's two barrels I'm waiting for a delivery of a third barrel so I wish I can put the third one in we've got a little sink in here now our little makeshift bartender is uh, sat there that's just for scale um, he's just a stunt prop. We'll be changing to um, an actual Minecraft villager as soon as that time is need is needed. Um, I've attached a bucket on a hook uh, to the bar there. That's basically just well, you see him in bars. You know they've got the bucket with the cloth in it, that sort of thing. Anyway, gives it a bit of realism. So today. Um, oh, yep, sorry, I forgot, yep, staircase. Now, the staircase has been rebuilt, repositioned. It is a bit tight here. Um, but given the fact of it is plenty of room there for the minifigures to get through and everything else, if you were playing Minecraft, that's about as tight as you would expect it. Um, but anyway, it's plenty big enough, there's plenty of room. Uh, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do in this area yet. I may turn that into a storage room. Um time will tell as for the fireplace fireplace is now constructed i'm waiting for the fire bricks obviously to go in there so the plan for today is build the chimney so the chimney is going to get built today so we'll bring that right up um and then once that's made we're going to put the seal uh, we're going to put some some of the flooring in uh, not all of it some of it where uh, the flooring will go in um and yeah after uh and then we're going to test fit the ceiling which i've made here now it's a bit of a tight fit um i've used two 16 by 16s and then i've used four by eight here a two by eight there uh sorry a two by six there and a two by eight there um but yeah it's basically four by eights all the way across now if i show you it does fit with a little bit of a wiggle there we go it's a tad tight like a tiger point like a tiger anyway it's a tight fit it does work it does fit so there we go it works um, but I have tried it a few different ways but that's the best way I've got this room to go um, I fitted plates. I, I have fitted plates either end there, just to lock locate it into the corner so it doesn't start trying to slide off. It just locates it in there. That makes that happy. So, what we're going to do next is we're going to work on the chimney. So I've got a selection of parts here that um, I've been tinkering with. So. First things first, I have built the chimney, as always, I build them first, um, then tear it apart, ready for record. Just always try out the idea first. I learned that from Mr. Colin first. If you're not sure about something, build it, see if it works, then record it. So, we've got some shims here. Uh, these are 1x4 plates stacked up as 4 high. This is because of what we're doing here. This is to make it so it all levels out. So when the when the when the uh, the chimney goes in, it's actually on the same level. So 
finger underneath to secure it, obviously. But they fit on like that. So once you've built this around, that actually lines up with that. So I did the whole thing um, in smooth LBG. Didn't like the look of it. Didn't like the look of it at all. It looked terrible. Um, so I removed it. Um, that is the, the, the be all and end all of it. I removed it. Um, rebuilt it. And turned it into um, a bit more textured. I give it. I gave it. I gave it a bit more texture to it. You know, but uh, using the masonry. So quickly throw this together. I really do wish I had some um, one by four masonry pieces, but I don't. So we will make do. Um, as best we can. See what we can do about tying um, some of these bricks together. We're going to try and knit a little bit on these. It's difficult because it keeps wanting to come apart. pop it together like that doesn't look too bad he says so there you go once the bricks on there that all now lines up nicely swing that around so you can see a bit better hopefully you can catch it on that shot Um, this now lines up because we've got plates on here uh, and the, the combination of flats underneath it's a little wonky um, so that now lines up lovely I would love to put a 1b6 in there but I haven't got any um, I'll see what I do have we a 1 by 3 actually I've only got one of these um i've got it as a bit of a what's it that kind of holds that together nicely i could do so. there's a lot of lego pieces i could do with like all of those lego fans because like there's all of those legos out there that we that, that, all that lego out there we really 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 want we can't get that we wish we could <laughs> but we can't but it is what it is this would be easy. So, like I say, I'm trying to knit this together as best I can. Try and limit the amount of flex. Um, if anybody knows where I can get hold of some 1x4 masonry Lego that doesn't cost the earth, Please let me know. Please drop me a comment below. Hit me up on the old socials. It'd be much appreciated. Um, it's just, it's proving to be quite expensive to find. So we're up to there now. Looking gravy. Looking grand. Yeah, ten wide. So doing really too bad. Basically gonna have to try and tie it together um best we can. So I'm gonna grab some L pieces. Right. Really could do with putting a one by six in there. Do you know, um let's have a look. Uh 
I've got rows of tubs just looking through my tub. They may fit. They do fit. Right. We'll build a strength and um yeah. Right. I actually forgot I had them. I do apologise, but I have got a few thousand bricks on this table at the moment and I completely forgot that um I had them. There we go. Bam, dabby dozy. That's got some strength in it now. That is. Yeah, that's yeah, I can really pull on that now. That's got some strength in it. Fantastic. Right, so anyway. Um uh, yeah, let's carry on. Now we've got a bit of strength in it. Let's crack a like on. So these nougat or nugget or however it is that you say it, um, I call it nougat. Um, I like the colour. It's like a it's a, it's meant to be dark tan, but to me it always just looks like a nougat colour. So it's 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 quite nice actually. Um, I do have some tan pieces. Uh, sorry, no, um, I actually have some nougat play, um, tile. I do have some nougat tile, and it's very nice, actually. As always, these ideas are straight off the top of my head. Um, they're not... They're not um copied from anywhere it's literally straight off the top of my head um i don't plan this out um uh, building wise the only thing that gets planned out if i'm honest the only thing that the only part of the whole thing that gets planned out is the floors um i draw out on graph um, on graph paper how many studs it's going to be and how what what plates are required to cover the floor and in what orientation because plate is expensive 16 by 16 plates at the moment are trading hands for north of two pound each used so um that is pricing correct as of the 22nd of september 2021 little disclaimer there So yeah, um, I went and got myself some new tubs from More Reasons. Um, they have some on offer. I thought, why not? They look cool. So I grabbed myself some of them. I shall introduce you to them now because I've just realised I need some bricks out of it. Um, these are two and a half litre capacity um, kitchen tubs. Currently Morrison's near me selling these for a pound each. So I thought, why not? I picked up a few and these are fantastic. I think they're great and they do a hell of a job. Excuse me, I'll just grab a drink. Thanks for your patience. So these tubs, um, like I say, two and a half litres in capacity doesn't sound like a lot. But when it comes to Lego, that's quite a lot. Just 
three for doing. You know, I'm going to stick him up there for good luck. Don't go blowing anything up. Still looking for these. If anybody knows of anywhere we've got any uh, in the UK, still looking for these parts. Desperate for these parts. But just because I'm really in need of them does not mean I will be uh, um, held to ransom over price. I have actually had somebody try to do that to me. Oh, yeah, you will need these. Oh, I'm good. You. Oh, and thank you for your uh, thank you for your time and uh, goodbye. You, but you still. Bye. I'm autistic, I'm not an idiot. So, my me, me problem with the, with the chimney is do I, I'll swing this round, do I A, continue straight up, or do I B, split it? So, So one part goes up over there and the other part comes up over here. So it literally goes into like a V shape. Kind of like that. I, I can't really do it. But anyway, yeah, you cannot break it off into a V shape. So half that way, half that way. But continuing up the side of the building. I'm not quite sure um, if I'm going to do that or not yet. But leave us a comment below. Let me know what you think I should do with that one. Whether or not I should um, take it into a V shape or whether I should just leave it as is, you know, and just go with it. I'm not quite sure yet. I'm not quite sure yet. So, Mr. Bartender, you chap are going to have to come out for a little while. So, we'll sit you over there, just so I know you are. The reason why I'm using the, um, it's the little tractor dude from the Lego City Tractor. So he's one of my favourite minifigures just due to the fact of it's a tractor driver. Um, I like tractors. Um, I like farming. So I've took that out. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to put some, some of the flooring, not all of it, just some of it. Um, obviously the main area here won't be done due to the fact of I've got furniture to put in there. So I need to map out where the furniture is going to go that's the other side of what i plan furniture um i don't pl plan the furniture i look at the locations of where the furniture can go and then i plan its location not the actual design the actual design is just straight off top of my head as usual you know that's just the way i roll so we're going to use some of this dark tan tile um i got this from meadow hall um Lego shop at Meadowhall. That, believe it or not, is a, a a large tub of tile. Yet it fills that tub like that. These things are fantastic. Fantastic. Love these tubs. Love them. So I'm going to grab a handful of those. Um, I am going to basically just do an entire tanned floor. Um. It is just a tavern, it's not a private home. Pictures of those are coming soon. They are, the, the, the buildings are looking amazing, amazing. Sarah has done some outstanding work um, on there. The feedback that's been shown to my support, from my supporters um, who get to see Sneaky Peaks um of you know, behind the scenes building stuff and um ideas and things like that they get to see that before anybody else does i don't run a patreon due to the fact of i wouldn't know what to, or not how to do that Gonna do the outside obviously of, of the room.
I'm thinking this corner here, this bit here, I'm going to turn it into a storeroom. Um, because it's no real usable space. Um, the only real use for it would be to turn it into some sort of seedy corner, which I'd rather not do. So I'm more than likely to turn it into a storeroom. But time will tell on what um what I actually do with it. I could even turn it into a cubicle. Is it called cubicles? The ones where you've got like the, 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 the corner seat with the um, the table inside it sort of thing i'm not sure yet like i say it's just ideas um currently just throwing some ideas around remember leave us a comment give us your feedback let me know what you think um i do i do appreciate when people leave me comments i enjoy reading them i enjoy having a chat with people Some of the floor tiles will be replaced with tile same colour but with the studs on so that I can um, attach furniture. We're also gonna I'm actually gonna have to order some one by twos um or one by four, whatever I can get hold of in the dark tan to fill in the gaps here here. Um but yeah it's coming together nicely. Obviously, have to get some more for there. Oh, hello. Yours are having large hands. This is stupendously difficult to do with my size hands. Right, so as I say, I'm leaving the main area. Um, that obviously be for tables, things like that. So there is, there is going to be a full bar scene in here. So I'll pop our little barman back in again. Like so. Fantastic. 
So yeah, I'm going to obviously fill the gaps in, um, and there, and obviously around here, that's all going to be filled in. There's going to be dark tan tile going in there with studs on, obviously, so I can still place my little chap. Um, then furniture in the middle there. They're not looking too bad. Right, next. Ceiling. It's nice. Hey, looking good. <laughs> so that's what we'll call it for today. Thanks for watching. Uh, next episode, we'll start building the uh, next layer up. Uh, so yeah, then we'll revisit the downstairs to finish that off once those parts arrive. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all soon. Look after yourselves in these crazy times. Remember, if you like what you've seen, you like what I'm doing, you want to support the, you want to support the project, give us a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Good night, good afternoon, good morning, wherever you are. God bless. Take care, my friends. Goodbye. The fans be with you. And also with you. Let us A. A.